If you see that something is wrong, please stand up and speak out. Don't allow it. Small scale or large scale? I don't know. This topic was about modesty, but clearly, when I think about modesty, this is all I think about. These are tied in issues about what I think about when I hear people talk about modesty and when I hear people complain about how someone is dressed, even when sometimes you're walking down the street. Like, it's so sad. It's so sad the way people interpret people's choice of dressing, you know? Like, it's big. It's not just clothes. It's not just material. And I feel maybe, maybe that's why sometimes I feel like I need to defy the norms even when it makes me uncomfortable. Like, if I look at a dress and I see that it is short, I feel like I'm inclined to wear it, to dress in it, just as a defiance of the ideologies that have been placed like in our minds so deeply that it has become a system that it is so hard to fight because people have made it okay to say that if you dress a certain way you are allowed to touch people even issues like uh going into buses and matatus i've realized that as women we don't talk about you know like was it boniface monkey who had an issue with his wife being groped in a certain way and it was disrespectful and women were talking about it like it's okay it's normal it's what happens to us and i feel like yes it's happened to most of us <laughs> personally i've had to push someone's leg out of my way or hand out from like my neck because it was so inappropriate but i feel like maybe just pushing these people away is not enough like we need to speak up and we need to live like we actually mean what we say you can't uh you know sometimes i feel like even parents when they say don't dress a certain way they don't say it because they believe the dressing is wrong necessarily wrong but i feel like they say it because of the idea that it that has been engraved in them you get like they feel like they need to protect you because even though them they understand the society we live in the people the darkness we live in may seep in and touch you you get so it's hard for me to talk about modesty and not go there with the whole issue about it i can't just say that it's okay to dress a certain way and it's not okay to dress a certain way because it comes attached to a lot of issues a lot of problems that we are having right now that some of us most of us don't know how to go about it we don't know how to contribute to the protection of us of all of us you get so yeah so I feel like it's a maybe, probably, the solution is to start speaking about it where we are and to start telling everyone around us that it's not okay to speak like that or to view certain stuff like that. Even sometimes, it's not even something someone says, it's how they look at you. They look at you like you're going to steal their family because you wore a short thing. You know, like it's... It's a system, a pattern, a cycle that needs to be broken. It's a generational curse of mindset engraved system. And that being just one of the many, many, many that people don't talk about. Yeah, some, I don't know. Like Jerry said, maybe even I, I don't feel powerful enough to talk about some situations. Maybe someday when God wills it, I'll be in a position to speak about some issues. But from where I am, I feel like I'm doing all I can. I'm doing my best to highlight what I feel needs to be highlighted. Whether that be on my platform, because sometimes even on your platform you can't speak about certain issues. Because it's like people are governed by fear and by the system more than they are governed by justice and righteousness that it's very hard so i feel like maybe just uh one-on-ones who you are around your family or friends maybe sometimes your community by your reaction towards certain issues naturally breaks the cycle the generational curse and hopefully maybe the next generation which sadly is coming up as a bruised generation because of the things they are going through like for example 
the three-year-old and five-year-old son, a daughter who couldn't get justice, and the mother was talking about how she was going through, the child was going through depression. Actually, a teenage girl was going through depression because she had to um, live in the same neighborhood with this person who did this vile thing to her and justice wasn't being served no matter how much they talked about it even on media so yeah it's like already the next generation has been touched it has been bruised it has been scarred so i wonder like what are we working with really like it just keeps getting worse from generation to generation and we keep being silent about these issues and it's not helping us so let's talk about it let's get out of our comfort zones to accommodate certain things so that we can highlight the real issue even if it makes you uncomfortable because honestly i've had situations where someone has dressed or someone has used their dressing to do certain things I think if you've been to the city you would, around certain times, you know what I'm talking about. You know how it can be used for, you know, the wrong stuff. Wrong meaning, like, I think you understand what I mean by wrong, because now everyone is so open-minded, even <laughs> saying wrong is sometimes a complicated topic again. But yeah, so, like, let's, let's give way to certain things so that we can highlight the real issues yeah let's defy the norms let's defy the system let's defy the perspectives that we have been forced to grow up in and forced to adapt to because they are they're not helping us honestly who are they like they've not helped the past generations and they're not helping us let's give freedom a voice and give and take away the voice from darkness take away the power from darkness and injustice that's my whole point in this modesty topic Woo we i bet you did not think that this would go that way but it's something that i have sat with for a while and I've tried to be one-sided, but it's impossible to be one-sided, and I think it's unfair to just have one perspective and not speak about the underlying issues, like the things that have been swept under the carpet, actually, that have been buried down deep, that we keep ignoring, that are coming up even more... It's like a volcano, you know. It's like it was. It's being. It's been buried for so long, and all of a sudden, it's erupting because people refuse to take accountability to speak up. People who know certain people who have done certain things, and they defend and protect these people despite knowing that they have victimized certain voiceless people it's such a sad thing like this story of Anne Kimani if you go on my Instagram I posted it ago and it's like people know and people do nothing about it it's like people are so afraid of power you know people think power sometimes is in the money but I think power the same power that is in money is the same power that is in wisdom and if we understand as people if we come together we can fight bigger things you can fight eventness under status you know behind status i think we will live a very safe life